Hi traders, today we're going to take a look at how to add median Renko charts to the MT4 platform. For this you need to have the uh, median Renko chart plugin which you can download from the video description and once you install the uh, indicator into your indicators folder you can then double click sorry first you need to select the currency pair and then move to the M1 time frame make sure that you have good enough history if you do not go to tools history center and select download and populate the monthly through the one minute charts once you do that compress the uh, M1 chart and double click on median Renko chart you are presented with uh, a couple of options here the candle body size shows you the uh, box size you can select a value of your choice we will select 20 pips the retracement factor of 0 0.5 select symmetrical reversals to true the offline time frame use the first Renko pip offset, offset to true and uh, set the value to 0, 0.00 you can leave the remaining uh, values as it is select the refresh on history updates as true and click OK <coughs> you now get the message prompting you to open the M3 offline chart Go to files open offline and select AUD JPY M3 as you can see you have the median Renko charts right here you can toggle between the different time frames to load the history and then move back to the M1 time frame. You can add the median Renko chart info which will show you the reversal candles and as you can see you have the 20 pip median Renko chart here. Now let's change it to let's change the retracement factor to 0.9 which gives you a Renko chart as you can see this is a 20 pip Renko chart now you can change the value to 0 0.2 which gives you the turbo Renko bars this is nothing but a modified version of uh, the mean Renko chart but uh, the trend and pullbacks are, are a lot more easier to see in this uh, particular chart format. So guys, this basically sums up uh, how to add the mean Renko charts or the turbo charts or the uh, traditional classic Renko charts on the MT4 platform. You can download the indicator from the link mentioned in the video description. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and let me know. I hope this video was helpful. Have a good day.